In this video, we'll take a look at using parameters and variables. So in this case, we will be looking at the is champion column, which in our current data flow is based on this derived column that is hard coded to say raptors. What we want to do is make this dynamic and use a variable. So if we go to this variable tab, add a new variable, set it as a type string in this case, and we'll call it, just give it a name, we'll call it uh, champion. If you don't see this screen, you can go to the SSIS drop down at the top. We'll give it a value of raptors. And now when we come in back to this screen, we can see the drop down of variable options and select the one we want. Let's enable a data viewer so that we can see it as it runs just to confirm what it looks like. Now when we execute it and take another look, we see that this did correctly identify Raptors as is champion. So let's go back to our actual table and take a look, make sure that it went through and it did. So that is just on a, an individual package scope level. So let's delete this. And now if we look at the project params file, we can add this variable here as well in the same fashion, give it a name, a type and a value. The difference here is now this can be used across every package in this project, not just the one. It'll function similarly, but uh, it, it allows it to be used in multiple places. So if we go back in here and we'll replace the one that we had before, the, just the package scope, and now we see the project level parameter and use that here. Now if we save and execute again, just to confirm, again that the correct value is identified and we'll again check in management studio as well in the actual table and it flowed through so that's just a simple introduction to variables and project parameters and i appreciate you taking the time to watch this thanks